lens capture work and tech and processes developed for Avatar helped inform some of what you've been able to push forward with Alita. Does the tech and even like the software used and developed for this movie, does that help inform what you're doing with future Avatar films? So, you know, I was talking to Joe Letary of Weta Digital, you know, probably a year ago. And we both concluded that the work we're going to do today and now on Alita is going to even have a greater impact on the Avatar sequels than the first movie really had on Avatar. Because <laughs> we have learned so much. No longer could Weta hide behind an ape skin and fur to bring a facial performance to life. She's out there, human skin. She's all there for everybody to see. And it's a new standard that they had to ascribe to. We did new technology for every film. So even if we started a new film tomorrow, we would end up starting new technology. It's, I mean, it's been three years on this film, right? So mm -hmm. technology we were using at the start of this film is probably outdated now, and we'd be moving on to a new technology by the, in another year. So <clears throat> because we're always, because we get to work with people like Jim Cameron um, and Robert Rodriguez who always wanna push technology, um, we're always pushing ourselves to get new technology that's gonna help us to be more creative or more um, flexible in the way we do things. This is the cutting edge of technology and we're creating a brand new human. Um, that's different. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge fan of the like live action hair and makeup and wardrobe. Uh, I love my job, obviously I love acting, but I almost feel like I graduated that part um, and now I'm onto this. You know what I mean? Like I'm on to doing the process plus another process. Um, because, uh, I don't know, um, I got really obsessed with, with this and the ability to create a character without the, um, the nuisance almost of like making sure my angles are right. Uh, you know, I can be really in my head and superficial if uh, it's my coverage. Mm -hmm. um, and go like, oh, now I need to, look, oh, the camera's here, so I'll have to do this, and then I'll look, at the, and then the lighting, and oh, we have to get the lighting right. You know, with this, there's none of that. You're free. Yeah. You're completely free to exist. Um, so it affords you that, that, that right, that ability to, to play, because you're free. You're not thinking of the superficial details of how does my face look, how do my clothes look, how do my hair look. Every project, you know, we, we take what we learn from it, and bank it for the next one because you're constantly building you know your your toolkit and then you wait to see what the script is and what is it that we're being asked to do and you look at what you've got and what you're missing and you just take it from there yeah. with all the work that went into designing these characters and the processes especially when it comes to Alita herself mm -hmm. which is a character we've never seen like that before mm -hmm. does that make it like I don't want to say easy but does that reduce so much of the challenge if we were to make like an Alita sequel and see this character again is it much easier the second time around usually it is easier the second time around having gotten to work on a few sequels I can attest to that because most of the time the first time around you are just trying to figure out what and who the character is. Once you've established that, it, it makes it a lot easier to get into the flow of the character. Um, so yeah, hopefully there'll be a sequel. Well, look, I think one of the things that uh, Jim uh, has been great about in his career is that every project that he does with visual <laughs> effects informs the next. Mm -hmm. He wrote the scene of the pseudopod into the abyss to see if he could finally make Terminator 2 with the T-1000 coming out of the floor. Mm -hmm. When we, we did Avatar, I mean, when we did Titanic, we put digital people on the ship as a step to could we do Avatar. When we did Avatar, we realized, yes, we could finally do Alita. So they're all building upon one another.